Good Friday, everyone. I'm Cyrus Webb, and welcome to Cover System Daily News. Glad you all could be with us, but we made it to the end of another week, and we're so glad to be back with you guys on the Meta platforms with our news broadcast. For today, we, of course, have your news headlines coming up, have a message from my book, Warriors That Choose to Live By, and in today's news you can use, you hear in part of my conversation with Marcus Robinson. He's the Chief Executive Officer at United Healthcare Individual and Family Plans. We're going to be discussing the ACA plans and who qualifies for them. You don't want to miss that. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Cover System Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with their Friday headlines in international news. As more Palestinians with foreign citizenship leave Gaza, some families are left in the lurch. Dozens of Palestinians with foreign passports crossed through the war-torn Gaza Strip, only exit for the second straight day Thursday, escaping Israel's suffocating siege into the empty Egyptian desert. But the evacuation rush left families divided by citizenship status in painful limbo. The bombardment didn't stop, and they didn't know what awaited them at the border, even as the weeks of heated negotiations between Israel, Hamas, and Egypt over the evacuation of foreign nationals at the crossing bore fruit Wednesday for the first time since the war started. The continuing chaos and heavy military restrictions reflected the difficulty of diplomacy over Rafah, now the only way in or out of Gaza for civilians. The U.S. Embassy in Israel then immediately respond to a request for comment on the issue of families being separated at the borders as the Associated Press. Secretary of State Antony Blinken was set to visit Israel today to discuss the conflict. The United States has publicly blamed Hamas for the delay in reopening Rafah, while neighboring Egypt, wary of receiving an influx of Palestinian refugees, has blamed Israel for repeatedly bombing the crossing and imposing tight controls. On Thursday, an Israeli bomb landed near the Rafah terminal, killing and wounded several people. A bomb came down and almost exploded everything. An American citizen said from the border, I have a heart condition and I could collapse at any time, they said. I'm just trying to get to the other side and be safe, they continued. The individual who didn't face a divided family citizenship issue eventually made it into Egypt, one of several hundred people, to pass through the crossing Thursday. The list of those who would be allowed to leave that was distributed to dual nationals trapped in Gaza on Thursday included scores of Americans as well as citizens from a handful of other countries ranging from Switzerland to Sri Lanka. How the names landed on that list and in that order remained a mystery. Palestinians struggled to get answers. In national news, ex-gang leader pleads not guilty in 1996 Tupac Shakur killing in Vegas and judge appoints lawyers. A former Southern California street gang leader pleaded not guilty Thursday to murder in the 1996 killing of rap music icon Tupac Shakur in Las Vegas, a charge prompted by his own descriptions in recent years about orchestrating the deadly drive-by shooting. Dwayne Keith, Keith D. Davis, is the only person still alive who was in the vehicle from which shots were fired and the only person ever charged with a crime in the case. In court on Thursday, Davis stood in shackles as he awaited proceedings and waved to his wife, son, and daughter in the packed spectator gallery. Not guilty, Davis said, when Clark County District Judge asked for his plea. In more national news, Bob Knight, Indiana's combustible coaching giant, dies at age 83. Bob Knight, the brilliant and combustible coach who won three NCAA titles at Indiana and for years was the sculling face of college basketball, has died. Knight's family made the statement on social media Wednesday night. He was hospitalized with an illness in April and had been in poor health for several years. It is we heavy hearts that we share. Coach Bob Knight passed away at his home in Bloomington, surrounded by his family, the statement said. We are grateful for all the thoughts and prayers and appreciate the continued respect for our privacy as Coach requested a private family gathering, which is being honored. Knight was among the winningest and most controversial coaches in the sport, finishing his career with 902 victories in 42 seasons at Army Indiana and Texas Tech while mentoring some of America's best coaches. In business news, Disney will acquire the remainder of Hulu and Comcast for roughly $8.6 billion. While Disney Company said it will acquire a 33% stake in Hulu from Comcast for approximately $8.6 billion, a deal that will give Disney undisputed control of the streaming service. Disney has actually run Hulu since 2019 when Comcast ceded its authority to Disney and effectively became a silent partner. Disney offered no comment, but Young saying the acquisition were further Disney's streaming objectives. And finally, in more business news, Wall Street leaps toward its best week of 2023 on hopes for a halt to rate hikes. 
Wall Street roared higher again on Thursday with hopes the Fed Reserve may finally be done with its market-rattling hikes to interest rates. The S&P 500 leaped 1.9% for its fourth straight winning day. It's already up 4.9% this week and on pace for its best week in nearly a year. The Dow Jones Industrial Average jumped 564 points, or 1.7%, and the Nasdaq Composite climbed 1.8%. Stocks around the world rallied after the Fed Reserve opted against raising its main interest rate late Wednesday. It's already jacked up rates furiously since early last year in hopes of slowing the economy and hurting financial markets enough to starve high inflation of its fuel. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's now time for a message from my book, Words I Choose to Live By. Enjoy. Good Friday, everyone. I'm Cyrus Webb, and welcome to Words I Choose to Live By. This is more than just another day to go through the motions. It's a gift that can be unwrapped moment by moment, allowing you an opportunity to showcase the very best of yourself in what you say and do. Do not waste a second of it. Have an amazing Friday, and enjoy your weekend. Marcus Robinson of United Healthcare speaks to today's news you can use. Stay with us. You're listening to Conversation Daily News. For Cover System Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with your news you can use. Marcus Robinson, the Chief Executive Officer of United Healthcare Individual and Family Plans, join me on Conversations Live, the radio show, to discuss the individual and family ACA plans and who qualifies. Here's a bit of our conversation. Marcus, thank you again for the time. Really appreciate it. Really happy to be here, Cyrus. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's a really important topic for our audience. Uh, and I think, Marcus, I think the timing is perfect, as I mentioned, with open enrollment season beginning. So I mentioned the Affordable Care Act. What are the individual and family ACA plans and, and who qualifies for those, Marcus? Yeah, thanks for the question. Individual and family ACA plans are offered in the health insurance marketplace, or better known as, as the exchanges. It's a place where individuals and families can go and shop and compare for different insurance plan and, and coverage and find the best fit for their personal health care needs. To qualify, you have to live or reside within the United States. And uh, you have to have, or, or your employer or job doesn't offer coverage, and you don't qualify for Medicare, Medicaid, or CHIP, which is the Children's Health Insurance Plan. So if you meet those criteria, then you're eligible to shop and roam um, on the exchanges. Ah, that's great information. So it's great for those, again, who don't have the things you mentioned to know that they can qualify. Affordability is always a big uh, thing for people, Marcus, as they're kind of thinking about health insurance. This is why so many people across the country don't have it. Are there any resources that can help them make coverage more affordable for them? Absolutely. I'll share a couple of resources, but also... Um, at United Healthcare, we are we're always focusing on affordability and how we design our plan designs to make it more affordable for consumers. So first, the marketplace itself or the exchanges, um, many qualify for government assistance, uh, depending on your income and family size. And as a matter of fact, last year, the CMS or Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, they reported that 90% of the marketplace consumers qualified for government assistance. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. We're back to guys on Monday with more news, message from my book words I choose to live by, and of course the entertainment spotlight. Until then, I'm your host Cyrus Webb saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Daily News today. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.